So my name's Josh Pfeiffer, I'm the grape grower, owner and winemaker here at Whistler. Josh, thanks for having us at your winery. You mentioned earlier that uh, this is obviously something not only that's in your blood because you keep pouring glasses of wine, but uh, you know, it's in your family for, for, for a few generations. I'm the fourth generation grape grower, so and, I mean, it's yeah, my great grandfather was the first in our family to have his own vineyard, and that was up in the Riverland in South Australia. So is there something you go, you, like you can't go a day without? Is there something you, you have to have every day? And is it wine? <laughs> Probably wine, yeah, I yeah. would say. I mean, it's been in my blood, so you kind of grow up with it. And, and you were saying, like, so your, your father took this property on. When, when was that? Uh, 1982, my parents bought the property and it was just a vacant property yep. when they bought it. And they started planting vineyard here in 94. So. Um, so we converted the vineyard to organics in August 2013 after I really wanted to implement organics to our vineyard. I thought it was quite an easy um, conversion uh, given the site where we are. It's proved very successful, the vineyard's looking great, the soil's looking great. The next step is biodynamics. It's something that I've wanted to do for a few years now. Coming back to your own property, has there been, has there been uh, some, some successful mistakes, so to speak? A lot of mistakes just become challenges. Yeah. And you know, I guess one of the, the challenges as a winemaker is how to create a wine from what you have as raw materials. You know, each vintage is different here, has its challenges. I'm constantly making mistakes, but yeah. you know, they're not life-threatening. Yeah, you know, yeah, we're yeah. not doing heart surgery here, so it's... Yeah. over control who's who's actually the boss I mean who's, who's, who's running the show because depends who you ask yeah. <laughs> no, I mean I I respect that a lot and you know I'm learning from him yep every day so